fate has smiled on these teams once, which team will catch your eye again in this second round matchup between the Texas Longhorns and the Houston Cougars? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Cougars might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. First of all, don't give up any easy, uncontested shots from behind New York. Find those shooters. Next, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And lastly, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It is too much for him, and he lost possession. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. The center handles the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. top controlling the ball look at that that's unbelievable baby the defenders doing a great job of applying ball pressure the ball goes out of bounds oh and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team they are really involved i'll tell you one thing they bring a lot of spirit Number 32 with the foul. First personal foul. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Defense knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He hits the shot. That's an 8-0 run. Trying to feed inside. He uses the shot fake. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. They look to get it to the inside. Thinks about the shot. With a little baby hook. And he missed. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number three receives the ball. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to go inside. For the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Texas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Dumps it in. The center handles the feed. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. The point guard receives the pass. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Tries to get the D to bite. And a momentary look from three-point land. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Makes his second shot. Makes the third shot. Boy, terrible. 
execution on offense. They'll work it around the arc. Number 24 fakes the shot. Jumps into the defender. Doesn't go. Gets it to go. There they come with a double team to stop it. Number 14 grabs it. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. That's a 7-0 run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shows the sweet touch. Up fake. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Basket falls despite the contact. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Looking for a good shot. For two, way off target. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. The Cougars are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He buries it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. look from the inside. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position in spreading his body and getting the ball. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. move with the fake and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. No fakes. Kicks it out. He strokes it. There was no doubt about that one. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the pick. There's the roll. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft.
Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Fakes a jumper. Number 24 comes up with it. For the bucket. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Number 14 is emotionally fired up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Fires from long range. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. The skip pass is picked off. The ball goes out for I love the NCAA tournament more than maybe anything else in sports, and I love first halves like this where both teams are playing well. I'll tell you one thing, quality performances by both clubs. They are really responding and playing right at the right moment. I think that old cliche really jumps here. It's going to be really sad that one of these clubs are going to be bye-bye and out of the NCAA. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. He dials long distance. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Well, that's basic. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with the 2005 College World Series Championship and, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. At the line. Makes the first shot. got them both. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Both teams looking to get things going here. Fakes the shot. He pulls the trigger. He gets that one to fall. Side. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Looking to move it around the perimeter. 
Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Executes the baby hook. And in and out. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From the top of the circle, misses from long range. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Nice high post screen. Turn around jumper, in and out. Downtown, off the rim and no good. There's the fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Dribble gives it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of bounds. And the ball goes out of play. Houston is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. On the inside, he gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Oh, 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Sinks it. The Cougars are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. He shoots from left of the circle. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Great block shot. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. Pull-up jumper from way out. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. it up gets it to fall <laughs> takes away the pass with a quarterback pass puts it up looking for contact and off the mark He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work it around the perimeter. Number 21 is charged with the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with the 2005 College World Series Championship, and then, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. Makes his third. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They work it around the arc. Tries for two. Buried it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Oh. 
There's the trap. Looking for contact. Can't get the shot to go. Number three is called for the foul. Fourth team foul. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Hits that one. Gets the second. Hits his third. Now the high screen. He wants a three. It's good. And the half. The Longhorns are ahead by two. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Houston coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with the 2005 College World Series Championship, and then, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. Created by Great D, Brad. The small forward gets the ball. He gets it to fall. The Longhorns are ahead by five. He takes the three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. The small forward gets the pass. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing it in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes away the pass. Nice fake. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries for two. They still don't score. Moving it around the perimeter. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Two doesn't go. The point guard with the ball. Intercepted. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. And in and out. Finger roll. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Got it. Steals the pass. That's been moved not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The center takes the pass. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket, Texas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. It's no good. Up and inside. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the free one. Hits that one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Second shot, good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. No rebounding that. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Hits his second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. The ball goes out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. And he'll kick it back outside. Number three picks up the foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Sinks it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you.
problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression and a momentary look from three-point land Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at that spacing. The small forward takes the feed. Texas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Rejects it. They push it up on the break. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. They still don't score. They work it around the perimeter. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Stolen ball. It's a fast break possibility. Steals the ball. Gave it up. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. He drains the shot. in another score. He can see the line, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Controlling the ball. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Now they'll bring it up. Got an open look if he wants it. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper.
to start things up again. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He shoots from right of the circle. They take it off the defensive glass. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. It's two at the charity strike. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Up and inside. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Number three draws the personal. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Turnaround jump. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and classic of the block. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us.
He is going to the line. Hits the first shot. Houston are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Makes his second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He tries the three, rims out. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice shot. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Steals a pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Cross court. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Rims out. Dump it inside. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He lets it go. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Number one with the fake. He fouled him. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the free throw line. First shot, good. Houston, have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. He sinks them both. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Back to the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Shots there if he wants it. 
from three-point land. No good. Dick, our zone susceptible to the jumper? Yeah, only if the rotation is late on D, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Makes the shot. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He buries the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point land. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. Up and inside. Picks off the lazy pass. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Side. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure on the basketball. Coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. As the fans continue to chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Shot clock is dead. Takes the pass in the paint. He could make the easy inside hoop off the screen. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Makes them both. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Double team now, bad angle. Robs him of the ball. He shoots from right in the circle. Rims out. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Houston graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.